Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> but literally, I was just sitting down and I decided to do this makeup on myself because I was going out with my friends. And I ended up posting the picture, I think a video like on my Snapchat, and I got a lot of requests. And then I posted it on my Instagram and asked you guys if you want to see it. And that, um, that picture got over 31,000 likes and requests to do the video. So today I'm going to do a video for you guys. To moisturize my face, I'm going to be taking this Pond Moisturizer. This is also a color correcting moisturizer. I freaking love this thing. It's super cheap. And you can just get it at Walmart or Target. So to start off my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take this Kevin Aquan concealer and just apply it all over my lid. Go ahead and take this eyeshadow from Shiga Peel. This is in the shade Mochi. And I'm just going to apply that right above my crease and just diffuse it. So I'm bringing that eyeshadow in to my tear dot area and I'm also taking it out and just kind of doing it in like a cat shape like right where my outer V is I try to keep it right there um, try not to extend the eyeshadow all the way out just keep it just around the shape of your eyes and then I'm gonna go in with this blue shade right here and just apply that to the crease to just kind of deepen the color. I'm going to leave all the name of the eyeshadow in order that I use. I just can't keep popping this out. It's really hard to take them out. Um, but they are individual eyeshadow from Sugar Peel. And I just decided to put them all in this palette. So now I'm gonna mix the first shade and I mean the first shade and the second shade together and just really blend those two out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a cold black eyeliner and this is from MAC. This is the gray black. I believe it's black. So it's basically a black eyeliner. And now I'm just going to apply it on my lid. And I'm just applying it on that area that I didn't really put eyeshadow on it. Kind of going over that. Make sure you're using something very creamy. Now you can use gel liner if you wish. But I just really love using the pencil um, cold liners. Go ahead and blend that out by taking my Kat Von D Metal um metal matte palette so this is what the palette looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and take this blue velour right here and i'm gonna apply it right on top of the black gel liner and blend it out that is what that creates that really nice smoky black i mean blue black and make sure you're keeping this is not necessary the blue that we're going for I'm going to show you guys the blue that really brings everything together. But before I do that, I'm going to go back into the black eyeliner again and just apply it right on the center. So the really important part of this tutorial is the... Starlight powder by uh, makeup forever and this is just a blue Loose powder. I mean loose eyeshadow is such a pretty color. Can you guys see that? This color is so gorgeous. Oh my god And just blend it out Just gonna go ahead and take that eyeliner and apply it on my waterline. Okay, guys, so my camera went off, but I am back. So basically, I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply the top blue and I'm just working it out on my bottom lash line. 
I'm just smoking that color out. Mixing it with black. Just got done with my other eyes and I applied my lashes on this eye. So these lashes are actually my lashes. The lashes are not out yet, but I'm super excited and I cannot wait for them to come out. Um, I'm still working on it. I have a few other styles that I'm working on. But yeah, I'm super excited. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I don't have a link for them yet, but when everything is out, you guys are going to be the first people to know. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this on. I'm going to go ahead and start doing our face. So for my primer, I'm just taking this primer by Makeup Forever. And this is the step one um, skin equalizer. And this is the hydrating primer. And I really love using this primer for the winter season because my skin gets really dry. And this just really helps it moisturize and make that foundation look flawless. I'm gonna go ahead and take this LA Girl Color Corrector in the shade orange and just co correct around the areas of my face that are darker. For my foundation, I'm going to be mixing my Kat Von D foundation in the shade um, Deep 81 Cool. And I'm mixing it with the um, Becca foundation in the shade Sand Sandalwood. And I just like to mix this together. Even though this two are full coverage foundation, this is a little watered down. And this is super thick. But I mixed it because of the color. Um, this just gives me a perfect shade. And it just, oh, it's just so flawless. Let me show you guys check this out this is beautiful by itself this is beautiful by itself but make sure if you're using this foundation you really moisturize the crap out of your face because it's very matte and full coverage i'm just gonna go ahead and put a drop of that foundation and a drop of this foundation and then just mix it i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my face Taking this brush and then blending that out. So to highlight, I'm just going to go ahead and take the Kevin Aquan concealer and I'm literally taking this bit and I'm going to put it in my hand and just put it right underneath my eyes. And as you guys can see, I'm not really going back for more in there because you literally just need a tad bit of this. And then for contour, I'm just taking my stick foundation by Black Opal. And I actually don't know what shade this is, but I believe it's the darkest shade. Let's put a little bit on the nose. Boom. I like to kind of let this sit for a bit, so I'm just going to kind of blow it. So that it can get a bit tacky because that just lasts longer and it blends very well okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and start blending my highlight areas and i'm just dabbing my sponge to blend out I'm gonna go ahead and take my mixture of powder that I mix here and this is the mixture of the Walmart powder which is five dollars and I just mix it with the Ben Dine powder in olive sand in here and I'm just gonna use that to set my under eyes and anywhere else that I highlighted. 
And I just like to dab my powder until it disappears. This really gives me like a really nice flawless finish. Okay, so to kind of set around my face, I like taking the same powder on the sponge and then I just kind of dab it off my hand and then I just set those I mean the areas that I contoured in my face with I don't know I just feel like this method just helps my makeup not look muddy it really makes it look all flushed together um, with the highlight I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm gonna apply it underneath my eyes just a bit and just let it sit and this just gives me a very nice dramatic highlight I don't know I really do like my highlight underneath my eyes to be a little dramatic so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my black radiance contour palette in the shade medium to dark and I'm just gonna take the dark shade here and just apply it on my contour highlight Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this off of my face now. So as you guys can see, my face looks so smooth. And you guys know I love this powder by uh, Makeup Forever and this is their micro, micro finishing press powder. And this just really makes your skin so smooth and soft. It's like filter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX blush in the shade Cinnamon and just apply that. And I'm taking my lip liner and this is from Black, Black Up Cosmetics and it's just a brown lip liner and I'm gonna line my lips. And then I'm gonna take my lip gloss from MAC and this is in the shade Explicit and just add it onto my lips. And I'm gonna be using the MAC, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to be using the, what the hell is wrong with me? Makeup Forever Duo Highlighter and it just broke. Yep, just put that back in there. And then I'm gonna spray my face so everything can be melted together. Guys, so this is the finished look of this tutorial. I hope you like it, cause you guys asked for this and here it is. So I hope it was helpful for those of you guys that really wanted to see it and to also try it. I really, 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 really like this and I love this blue usually I'm not such a huge fan of wearing colors on my eyelid but I definitely love this look and you guys also really like it so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and so for those of you guys that are wondering what contacts I'm using and where you can get it from this contact right here is actually a great contact but I don't know for some reason when it's in my eyes it kind of looks blue but I got this from the beauty supplies but I'm going to leave a link down below where I also um, purchased my other contacts um, so you guys can check it out for those of you guys that are constantly asking me, do not kill me, okay? This shade right here is called Grey 2. Um, yeah, but I'm going to leave a link down below and I'm also going to leave everything that I use in this video. So go ahead and give it up a thumbs up. Remember to always be your own cat and beautiful 
and goodbye.